Hi everyone, welcome back to our video series on the Grossman model of demand for health. In this video, we're gonna work through some key diagrams and do some comparative statics. Let's go. So let's first think about our equilibrium concept. Recall equilibrium in this model is characterized by one of these two equations, depending on whether we're using a discrete time case, which is our first equation, or a continuous time case, which is our second uh, case. Note that this is effectively just where marginal benefit is equal to marginal costs. However, these statements relate to an actual stock of health capital because that's what our first order conditions for solving these problems are based around. That's what we're gonna call our right-hand side, the marginal efficiency of health capital, and our left-hand side, the marginal cost of health capital. In terms of visualizing that equilibrium concept, we get the following picture. We see that based on the property of our marginal efficiency of health capital, we should have a downward sloping curve with respect to health stock and marginal costs will enter horizontally there since they are invariant to the actual health capital stock. Um, we can identify a corresponding equilibrium health stock for every possible combination of R, which is our rate of return on the market or discount factor there, and delta here. Now, we have a visual tool for investigating comparative stacks. So this is what we're gonna go and do. We're gonna first think about what happens when we see an increase in our depreciation of health capital. Um, if there is an increase in R, which is our return on the market, and if there is an increase in our wages. So when we see an increase in Delta, we should go and see a leftward movement along the curve from H naught to H1 with a corresponding higher cost associated with it. An example of why this may occur is if we have an individual that goes and picks up smoking, that goes and depreciates his health capital um, a lot quicker there. Likewise, we're gonna go and see the same type of motion with regards to an increase in our rate of return on our market. We're gonna see a movement along the curve in the left direction, reducing our health capital stock with an associated higher price with it. An example of this is that we see investments in non-health augmenting expenditures becoming more appealing uh, to consumers. So they're not gonna be putting their cash in investment for health capital and health related goods and services. An increase in wages will result in an outward shift of the MEC curve, obtaining a new higher equilibrium health stock while maintaining the same costs of health capital pre-shift. This is simply because individuals are able to invest more in health by purchasing health related goods due to having a higher income. So this is our video series on the Grossman model of demand for health. Let me know what your thoughts were. If you liked it, didn't like it, let me know in the comments below. Take care.